everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we're Martin Midlife Misadventures. Tell them what we're showing them today. Today, Ashley's cooking for you. That's right. And my goal with today, I'm cooking for my prepper pantry. And my goal is to get you fired up about baking your own bread. Sorry about the squeaky cooler. We just left getting another grocery haul. That's our next video. How about we just get started and show them? Let's do it. Let's go. Alright everybody, we're going to bake bread the easy way. Yes we are, and this is a very basic, good recipe. It can be done in a machine, or it can be done by hand very, very easily, okay? We're going to need water, salt, yeast, this pump here that contains my vegetable oil, this is my sugar, and my flour, and this is my bread machine container. Alright, now everybody's bread machine is different. My bread machine requires me to put the water in last. Most bread machines require that you put it in first. So make sure you check your instructions to see in what order you're supposed to put ingredients in. But we're gonna start with three cups of flour, but I'm gonna sift it first. This is a very important step, everyone. Please sift your flour when you're making bread. I'm telling you, it makes all the difference. Let's get three cups of sifted flour. We all know how to level our flour. We've got one, two, and three. All right, we've got some salt. I'm gonna use one and a half teaspoons of salt. There's one. Here's our half. We're going to need four tablespoons of sugar. You can also use honey. I do recommend if you use honey that you put just maybe a tablespoon more flour in your mix and only use about three tablespoons. Now we need some oil. I'm using vegetable oil today and if I wanted to make it more like a French bread, what I do, remember that's three tablespoons, okay? I'll put two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and that gives it more of a French bread type flavor when it's done. Next thing we're gonna do is add our water, one cup of water. Now let's go to the machine and I'll show you how mine works for the yeast. All right, now I've got the pan inside my bread maker. This is a Panasonic. We close this lid. And you see this little deal on the top of my lid? This is where my yeast goes in. This is a smart bread maker, and it will drop the yeast when it's at the best temperature. So that's all I have to do with this. Just shut the lid and we're gonna hit start. I am gonna pull this dough out before it starts to cook because I wanna use it for a different purpose. All right, everybody, if you wanna know about my bread maker, I bought it at the Goodwill about six months ago. I do use this machine once or twice a week. I do it by hand and I do it with the machine, but I've had it for six months and I haven't had any problem. Just make sure before you buy it from the Goodwill that you plug it in and make sure it's working. Okay, we're at one hour and 17 minutes left and I'm gonna pull this out before the machine tries to cook it. First thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of flour, just a little, just a little bit on here. And we're gonna pull this dough out. Look at that, beautiful dough. I want to make three rolls and one small loaf out of this, so I'm going to cut it basically in half. We're going to put this one inside our bread pan. You don't mess with it too much. And this I need to make into three equal parts. Mm, this one needs a little more. And these I'm just going to shape very fast. We're not messing with this dough too much. 
into little balls. This one has too much. Okay. And these will be our rolls for our dinner tonight. So we're gonna let these rise a little. I'm gonna put this one in a pan. I'm actually gonna use this small disposable pan tonight because it's going to be a small loaf. So I'm gonna spray it with a little pure coconut. And then we're just gonna take this Kind of make it fit the pan, but not too much. You don't have to mess with it. It's going to sit for about an hour and rise. We're just going to leave it like that. And these I'm just going to cover right here until we're ready to cook them. All right, everybody. Look at how nice and risen these rolls are and our loaf of bread. Now we're going to stick them in the oven. All right, for our rolls, we're just going to put a little piece of parchment paper and stick them on there. I'm going to pull it out just a little. Got Grandpa's roll, Amy's roll. Ooh, I better move these back. And my roll. And then we're going to stick the bread in. See you in about 30 minutes. Right, we think this is ready and I want you to notice I put this down one rack and let me show you why this got too hot to the coils. We have a little dark spot right here. Hear that? That's what you want. Let's see the others. These are our Kaiser rolls for our delicious fried bologna sandwiches tonight. Look at that. Aren't those beautiful? Okay, here it is. We've got to let this cool. And once I know these rolls are ready, we're going to cook up our fried bologna. we got to have a side dish. And we're going to have green beans. We like this no salt added because we like to season it ourselves, right? Yes. That's right. All right, let's get the green beans in the pot. All right, we're going to use two cans. Hear that sizzle? I'm going to add a little bit of butter, just a little, and our favorite thing with our green beans is lemon pepper. Do you see this? This is made by Kingsford. Any lemon pepper is great, but I wanted to show you this one because we found it at the dollar store. Yes, we found it at... Dollar Tree. Put a little lemon pepper in there. And we're going to cook them up. All right. Tonight we're going to have fried bologna sandwiches. That's right. And we're going to use this Bar S beef bologna. Let's bologna. Open. Bologna. It's bologna. This one's not my favorite, but it'll do. We'll do two first. Okay, let me just show you, uh, yeah, he thinks oh, he's Oh, he some. smells that meat! Okay, so, you gotta take this little thing off. Don't cook it with it. Let's get one more. I think Grandpa will want three. And then, what I do when I'm frying bologna, so it doesn't curl up, I put three slits like that. It'll keep it from curling on you. I'm gonna fry this up. Ooh, hear that sizzle. Let's get a spatula. That's our green beans. They're looking good. Look at that. And that's just lemon pepper and a little butter. So delicious. Let's give it a flip. Looking good. Best spatula in the world, huh? Absolutely. 
and I'm not the cooker. This little spatula will get into anything. I mean, it'll, any cake, any anything, because it completely bends. We bought this at a Salvation Army in a goodie bag. Huh, do you remember? Mm -hmm. That was like 15 years ago. Okay, this is Grandpa's roll. Looks really, really good. Let's cut it open. Oh, it's so good, everybody. Look at that. Let me show you the pillowy. Mm. It's good. All right, this is what we're going to make our sandwich on. All right, we've got Grandpa's roll here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start stacking up his bologna. Look at that. Oh, that looks delicious. Also, Grandpa likes red onions. So we're going to put some onions on there. And the only condiment Grandpa likes is good old mustard. Okay. Oh. We'll put some mustard on there. And that is Grandpa's sandwich. But we need to get him some green beans. Doesn't this look delicious? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, everybody. That's our dinner. Fried bologna and mustard sandwiches with green beans on the side and homemade rolls. Mm. All right, Amy's heading out. Take Grandpa's dinner. Daylight savings time happened, so we didn't realize it was going to be so dark so <laughs> early. I'm so sorry. Right. She's heading out. You got the dog. I'll be right here waiting. Okay. All right, everybody. How about that uh, fried bologna and mustard, huh? Oh, man. I'm telling you what. We've had a lot of fried bologna sandwiches in our lifetime, and that was absolutely the best fried bologna sandwich and why? ever. Because Tell of why. that roll. That roll was so good. It is so oh, consistent, man. this bread re recipe. We've never had it bad, whether I mixed it by hand or in the bread maker. It is always good always and like i said if you want more of a french bread feel then you just substitute one tablespoon of the oil for olive oil a good extra virgin olive oil and it gives you a french bread feel yeah i don't know what she does but it's always good <laughs> it's the recipe i'm telling you it's just a very reliable recipe we hope you all could share some recipes with us and let us know where you're at on your bread making journey are you making your own bread just thinking about making bread because I'm telling you right now when you can make a loaf of bread for like 25 30 cents yeah that tastes amazing better than anything you can yeah. buy in the store and I made Kaiser rolls out of it but you could also make hot dog buns mm -hmm. sub rolls it's that good you could put uh, sprinklings on top of sesame seeds or garlic onions it's such a versatile bread recipe yeah so good so good yeah. every time like i said every time she makes it it's just it's delicious and i don't know about you guys but our stores walmart's all of them our bread aisle is small we have fewer it's uh, like a one rack yeah fewer selections and it's time we all need to be independent in that way we got to learn how to make our own bread so if you have great recipes yeah. please put them in and the and if you haven't learned how to make your own bread yet you should really start doing that there's so many great videos out there i wouldn't even know where to start just type in on youtube mm -hmm. homemade bread and find one that you think is going to work for you we'll be doing a lot more bread making and we'll do it from scratch without the machine yeah ash learned how to do a how to how to bake bread from a 20 cup recipe that yeah. my mom gave her years ago yeah. 20 cup bread recipe and it's a tremendous amount of bread that and rolls that come out of it and you can make uh, cinnamon rolls. Giant it's just cinnamon so rolls. Good, so good. We'll get there someday, but I, I wanted to show you in the bread machine because a lot of you maybe don't have big standard mixers that you could mix it with, or maybe it's hard for you to mix the dough. That bread maker we've had for six months. I've used it twice, once, twice a week. At least. Since then. 
and it's never given up on us and we bought it secondhand so do consider shopping secondhand but like i said make sure you test it out at the store first plug it in make sure the functions are working yes. and uh, if it doesn't have an instruction manual you don't need it just type in the model online and you can get all the instructions mine is different because the water goes in last most of the water goes in first right and we'll be picking up next time we we head out to thrift store we'll we'll pick up another one if we see oh one. yeah i definitely want to have backup and this is something that our solar system can run it doesn't take a lot of energy like a stand mixer and and things like that right. so really consider maybe starting that way Absolutely. all right everybody thank you so much for watching Please make this meal for yourselves because it is delicious. Two twenty-five, two dollars and twenty-five cents each. That's six seventy-five. That's less than one meal at the drive-through. Yeah, we can't even get. We get two French fries uh -huh. for five dollars at our local owned uh, little, little drive-in, drive, mom drive and pop's in. place. Yeah, I mean they're good French fries, but they're not. Not for five dollars, yeah. you know, and. It's time for the crunch. We got to make those cheap meals. We've got to use and be rotating from the pantries. So we, we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, uh, share, and leave us a comment in the comments below. We'd and love subscribe to, yeah, if absolutely. you haven't subscribe already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you hit that bell too. Hit that bell. Thank you all so much. God bless you all. Peace. All right, everybody, how about that fly? <laughs> That's a blooper. That's a blooper. <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> how about that fly? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. Fly, fly. Okay, let's do it. Ready? <laughs>